What's up, time keepers? Me, Tom Game here today. I'm bringing you Satisfactory, another cool, another uh, more of the awesome game I was playing the last couple of videos. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this super fun game. Uh, this time around, I might be uh, maybe I'll try to re rearrange some of these things because I feel like with the I got the new biomass burner separate from my my hub that I might be able to like segregate these these builds all separately, so I'm not like straining my my main builders there, but. We'll see. I might just try to rearrange the positioning of some stuff. I'm not 100% sure yet. So far, I like the way it looks. Everything, uh, except for this, I have last, at the end of the last video, I said I have to uh, find a way to make cement out of this. Because I actually think this is full right now. I'm not sure. But we'll figure something out and we'll go from there. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's go. Alright, so is there any new, new thing I can construct? No, production... Equipment, miner, blah, blah, blah. Power, biomass. Alright, I have everything to... Uh, what was that thing I wanted to build that was in there? Biofuel. That's going to help out, right? If I can create biofuel. Won't have to... more. It's a more efficient one than fucking burning biomass all the time. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide Sweet. the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel what the fuck is this? will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. Okay, what the f I didn't know I had a spaceship on me. So, yeah, we'll try to rearrange shit so it's a bit more, uh... Yay! Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. All right, how am I going to do this? Alright, so, the way I'm going to do this is, uh... First off, I'm going to need a... Okay, so that works. Shit. I'm stuck. Alright, so we're gonna... Build a miner here. Oh, 
Oh no, wait. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm such a fucking moron. Uh, I want to do a merger. This, this, this. Uh, where's... I'm missing some power here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Fuck. I totally forgot about it. Shit. I forgot the smelter again. Alright. Let's think about this again here. Production miner. Smelter. Missing what? Copper wire? Yeah, copper wire. Let's, let me go get some copper wire to do this. Now we should be pumping now. All right.
So now we should be able to uh, logistic in their Now we need to build a constructor. Why do I do this? God damn it. Thank God it gives me all my resources back. Well, it seems. plates and then I just need a okay invalid shape let's fix that Alright, so we got that one done. Now I have to fix this one here. I think I'm gonna build uh, these a lot fucking closer because I'm tired of a bit of running uh, all the way over here. belt's too long. I should probably, uh, fuck. Should probably go build it right beside the other one there. No! God damn it.
Iron plates, eh? The essence of green slug is complete. Please choose a new confirm. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. What? All right, let's create these power slugs. Uh, oh, increase! Holy moly, that slows down the the. I can put multiple of them too. What's down here? Oh shit, what the fuck is that? Run! Can I defend myself against that or... Oh shit! Fuck is that, man? All right, all right. Let's see how it looks. Perfect, perfect. That seems pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's not the most organized uh, assembly, but at least like I got everything going. At least now I'm producing cement. Unlike like I was before. Like uh, at least at least I know like my rods like I have enough material going in. You can see it's sort of stalling there a bit. Oh, this is to build the fucking, like, pull all the resources here. Okay, now I get it. Holy shish kebab. God damn. Sweet drop pod. Oh, an elevator. <laughs> I'm dumb. Shit, son. That's cool. Oh, there's literally a rod going out all the way to space. That's fucking sweet. Okay, I have to put shit in here, right? Alright, we got 75 plates. Seal. Oh, I have to look at it. Okay.
Oh, that's kind of glitchy. Oh! That's cool! Bye! And it's coming back down. So, oh, motors. So I need rotors and... Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's see what I unlock, though. Let's take a gander before we end for tonight. Yay! Coal power. Ooh. A tractor. Truck station. Coal generator. Scanner update coal. Logistic MK2. Conveyor belts 2. Okay, okay. You know, basher. Logistic MK3. Storage container. Contains 48 slot of storage. Conveyor belt mark 3. That's a lot of stuff we're going to have to deal with. I'm still not, not even done here. I'm going to have to bring up my... Uh... Like, that's really the one I want right now. To go to steel production. That means I would have to automate rotor motors and like... Uh, frames. Alright, well hopefully you guys enjoyed this... This... Uh... Satisfactory. Now it's getting into the complicated part where there's coal mining. I found a bit of coal which I was surprised of earlier, like over there somewhere. There was some bit of coal, but something tells me my product coal production is gonna is gonna come from afar. So like like I found like this was far for my uh, for this, but but production's going good. Everything's going good. I got assemblies. It's gonna. I'm gonna have to re like rethink the way I'm doing everything here especially that if I read some of the if I read some of the tier upgrades there's like multi uh, sm uh, smelters are doing multi tiered uh, smelting so you're combining two different together so I might have to rethink the like add splitters and stuff like that I, I'm gonna have to rearrange this entire corner again I already did it as you can see like I I got one storage with a split, like, two miners that go into one storage, and that, that one storage splits up into multiple constructors and smelters and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if I, it's a very good, I, like, this this thing is super awesome, the space elevator. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know how efficient it's me to have storage. Uh, for me, the storage is more like I keep it there so I can take some out of the thing so I don't have to like try to make some on my own but we'll get it away because now with the I'm gonna have to start automating like rotors uh, steel frames and stuff like that I'm gonna start to have to automate all that right now the copper goes just cable for some reason I never figured out that the fucking uh, I could have put a constructor to create a, um, a cement the only thing I didn't figure out it's biomass. I don't know if like there's a way to there's like a biomass miner of some kind, but I can probably hyper this one here to fucking make it do more. You can see it's skipping. It's not going fast enough. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be playing a lot more of this. Uh, this is the type of game I like, like reorganizing stuff, making stuff work faster and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Go, go, I would really appreciate it. Go follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and of course right here where I post multiple videos a week. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Now we'll see you in the next video. Keep on, keep it on.